Hey everyone, it's Vershav, and using Notion widgets, I've been absolutely blown away. I've been able to add a daily quote, daily gift, a street counter for all my awesome habits that I've been trying to implement, a Spotify playlist directly into Notion, my Pomodoro timer so I can work directly in Notion, a list of common searches and trending topics, as well as the rest of my student dashboard with my calendar and my assignments and my review, all that good stuff. And so today I'm going to show you five Notion widgets that you can use to spice up your Notion life. And so if you liked any of what you just saw, stick around until the end of the video. And honestly, without further ado, let's just get started straight into it. So in the description box below, as well as the pinned comment, you're going to find this Gumroad link. And so click on that. It's going to take you to this page. And basically, this is my ultimate package where I host all of my Notion widgets for you guys to use. And so basically, you're just going to fill this in. Um, and after you fill your email in, it's going to email you a link taking you right here. And so these are embed codes for widgets that you can use in Notion. And so for most of these, you're going to have to customize them just a little bit and tweak some certain things. And so it can be a little bit confusing. So I thought I'd make a tutorial to kind of walk you through the steps of what you need to do. So right here, you can have the Spotify widget, daily trends, daily quote for motivation, a Pomodoro tracker, daily GIF, and also a bonus one for a streak counter that I found extremely helpful. So let's go ahead and get started with the Spotify widget. So over here in Notion, I've blanked out before uh, the majority of my widgets. And so I'm going to do slash embed and paste that in. And so as you can see, it's going to paste in my Spotify playlist. And so here's what I meant about the kind of the custom customization pieces. So what you're going to have to do is when you paste in this link, as you can see here, there's something that says spotify.com slash embed slash playlist and then this weird code 2E0 blah 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 that will be different depending on what your playlist is so what you need to do is go to Spotify um, in your web browser get the link for your Spotify playlist that last digits of those code and just paste that in over here so let's say mine was this I'm just gonna replace it like that and so now we have this new link you can go ahead and paste that in the slash embed command and as you can see it's gonna embed your playlist you can move this wherever you want on the page so now let's get into our second embed widget, which is our daily trends and news. And so if you're a frequent Notion user like me, you commonly come back to this student dashboard. And so you want to come back here and see all of your stuff that's going on. But it's also great to get a hint of what the world is like right now, rather than having to log on to social media or Twitter. And so what I do is I have this slash embed and then I paste this in. And as you can see, it's going to load up something from a site called Google Trends. This is Google's active tracking of popular topics and trending things going on in the world right now. So as you can see, it has Taylor Swift and some other popular celebrities as well as topics in the news right now. And so this is really helpful to just get a quick look of kind of what's going on without getting distracted in the black hole of social media. All right, now let's move on to our daily quote for motivation. This is one of my most favorite embeds ever. So paste this in with the slash embed command. It's going to get in here. And as you can see, this one we have to do a little bit more customization with. And so I'm going to shrink this down a little bit and then I'm going to move it to the top over here. Now, if you guys like what you're seeing with the student dashboard, I made an entire video on how I set up my calendar for this assignments and review and how I get kind of constant progress on my work and feel super organized by doing it like this. And so I have, I have a ton of uh, cool aspects of this template. And so I made an entire video on this. I'll also link it down in the description and pinned comment below. So make sure to watch that after this video. But anyway, let's get back to this quote over here. I was able to move it up to here. Today's quote is hindsight is always 2020 by Billy Wilder. And um, on this channel, I like to talk about some self improvement things and also some lifestyle and productivity things. And this quote is really applicable today because it talks about hindsight bias. That's like a psychological phenomenon where after doing something, it always seems like, oh, that was so obvious. It was so clear. It was 2020 vision. If only I knew. But sometimes that hindsight bias there can mislead you and you need to be aware of that. So I just like to have this daily quote either for life advice or for motivation in general. Okay, the next one is probably my favorite out of the, all of the widgets, which is my Pomodoro tracker. So rather than having to go to some random website with a bunch of ads, this embeds straight into your notion. And the coolest part is once you press start, and after you finish, it's actually going to send a notification directly to your desktop about the various things of your of your of your schedule if you finish the 25 minute current working part of the Pomodoro cycle. And so this is really helpful because you don't need to open up a separate tab, a separate browser. You just need your Notion dashboard so you can work effectively in the Pomodoro style of 25 minutes and then a five minute break and so on. All right, we have two more. One is our daily GIF and then the last 
is our special one for today, our bonus. And so the daily GIF is pretty cool. It's not amazing, I'd say, but it adds a little bit of flavor to your Notion page. And so this one, if you just embed it straight in, it's gonna show up like this. You have to resize it a little bit to make it not as ugly. But once you have that, you can just drag it over to your Notion page. And so I'm gonna move this one up here as well. And so as you can see, it's, it's all coming along nicely, nice and somewhat symmetrical. And so finally, we have our bonus widget for today. This is honestly a life changer. This is how you dopamine hack Notion. This is how you use Notion to send small dopamine signals in your brain to make you wanna do more work and to be more productive and to be more organized. And so paste this straight in. It's gonna have this streak counter, which you can add to any Notion page. And so every day after you finish your tasks, after you do your daily habits, I like to use the streak counter to do that, uh, just to increase it and give me that little bit of a dopamine rush. And as my streak increases, it makes me feel good. And on a day, if I miss the daily habit, obviously I reset it and start back at zero. But I found that this is honestly a life-changing Notion widget. So those were five plus one bonus Notion widget. Now watch the video on the screen, which will show you how to set up this whole student dashboard with calendars, assignments, reviews, uh, tons of more stuff, daily journaling and daily habits. So watch that right now. Consider subscribing and thanks. I'll see you in the next one.